Well, that's amazing. <laughs> it looks like our medical brews is set up. Man, that was easier than I thought. Aside from gathering the resources, it really wasn't bad. Hello guys, Ulgin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I'm stuck in a cage if I can zoom out correctly. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't do a good a real good job of letting me zoom out, but I can actually open it up and come out. I just made this. This is the new update. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank y'all so very much for all the awesome support on the Ark series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So the new patch is out, guys. The current version is 227 and the biggest things that have been added to this is the industrial forge can now convert wood to charcoal the industrial cooker can now use irrigation from neighboring water sources and new structures of fireplace and primitive cage have been added and that is the primitive cage pretty darn easy to make actually uh, if you take a look at the Ingrams here or actually I already did that uh, we'll go ahead and go with cage and I've already built one as you can see but it takes hundred and ten wood 30 thatch 25 fiber pretty easy to put together now as far as the fireplace the fireplace takes a little bit more let's go ahead and look at that not foyer fire craftables <laughs> and this one takes a lot of stone like 450 stone 120 wood 80 thatch and 20 flint which isn't too terrible 450 stone is a little bit hard to carry at one time unless you're naked or unless you're higher level uh, i'm not too sure what exactly what level this is let's see the fireplace the cage is relatively low level it's right down there with the compass as far as the fireplace, I'm not seeing it. Ah, here it is, right next to the water jar. So that ought to give you a couple of ideas on, on where you can get this stuff in, in survival if you're just starting out and stuff. Let's, uh, let's actually gamma down because it was a little bright. So what I'd like to do today straight off is get my irrigation thing going. Now, I don't have a whole bunch of stuff, but... I want to have I want to have my own setup in that back corner like the irrigation is already set up there but I want an industrial cooker and honestly I don't have a whole lot of stuff to make an industrial cooker is pretty tough let's go ahead and get off the mammoth I know I'm gonna need some wood that's why I grabbed the mammoth but I think mostly what I'm gonna need is some metal uh, so let's see here I don't have any metal I do have a little bit of wood probably enough to make the fireplace I just don't know where I want to put it yet but I am gonna make one of those today as far as the metal is concerned I don't think I have any in here nope those that was all set up for guys I do have hundred and twenty six metal here and I have no metal in here okay so I imagine let's see if we take structures crafting actually industrial let's look I don't even know if I have the Ingram for it industrial yeah I do uh, you can make it oh wait cooker no industrial maybe it's fabricator I didn't even see um, armor miscellaneous oh no I, I see where it's at structures cooking there it is right there so we have enough oil for it already Cementing paste, we can get that. 1,800 metal ingots is quite a bit, and so is the polymer. Gosh! Dang, man. We're going to have to do some material crafting. Okay. Or some material gathering, I guess I should say. But it has to be done. So, a lot of people have been requesting that I do some stuff with the Giga, too. Guys, I guarantee you, when there's something to do with the Giga besides just let it go ape on, like, snakes and alligators in the woods, I guarantee you I will do it. But right now, I'm just letting him get some levels. Well, I come by here every once in a while and I check his XP. So, he's got 211 out of... Uh, 100 right now so I can give him a couple levels I didn't even know I had these tranquilizers on him he does need some meat too I could feed to him later so we're just gonna keep adding melee it doesn't go up a whole lot at a time but he's up to 91 so uh, next time like a dodo rex or something like that no telling what's gonna happen with Christmas and their updates but I'm definitely gonna try Gigazilla out 
uh, on the next summonable boss or whatever. I'd actually like to bring him to do Broodmother stuff too, uh, but we're not going to do that today. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Quetzal here. And we're going to head over to the volcano because I don't think anybody else is on. And we'll get some stuff done in the volcano. I need to put some of this stuff up before we go, too. Let me go ahead and grab this stuff, guys, and I'll meet y'all up top of the volcano. Hey, guys, here we are at the volcano. And I went ahead and grabbed Boots, which is Maz's Anklo. And now, the last time I visited this, I think I showed y'all, we had like... 10 of the regular forges and now there's actually two industrial forges so this is actually quite quite awesome i come out here with boots and the reason i'm using my quetzal to bring boots back and forth is boots is extremely slow like that's his top speed right he doesn't have a whole lot going for him outside of that but i get a bunch of metal here as soon as i get pretty much full up well he actually has some stone and stuff too honestly let's take a second to move out a bunch of that stuff because I do want to keep the stone and while it's cooking I'm gonna move stone back and forth I think uh, so let's see here we'll grab all the stone and obsidian and flint might as well flint doesn't weigh much there we go and we'll go ahead and put that on Ariadne just because we can we have the weight allowance like I can fill boots up completely and still travel easily around with them all right Boots, we're back in business. Now, we'll finish up getting metal, and I think it holds... I think Boots can hold, like, five or six stacks of 200 without that much problems. Uh, let's see here. Right now, we have... Yeah, five stacks. Well, four and a half stacks, something around there. Almost, four, almost five stacks. So, we'll grab it with Boots, and then we just fly over to where the Smiths are drop them down which they already fired up Maz has put like a convenient little sign and stuff which it's really cool you can know like how much gas to use for how much metal and how much time so you don't have to look that up every time all right let's see here so I've got one two stacks and there's two more there I'm just gonna distribute that evenly among these two we'll put these two it's already smelted 300 metal for me and we'll just move up with boots just a little bit and do the same thing again <laughs> which is it's really really neat to have this kind of setup man uh let's see here and we already have 180 there too this is gonna be great i'm going to make one more run like this and then i'm gonna transfer all the extras and leftovers that i have on ariadne along with the metal that's already been smelted to my house and then we'll work on some cementing paste and some uh and some polymer i guess all right guys i gathered it all it is ready to make structures cooking here it is this thing is so expensive maz was so nice to go grab some polymer for me he got a ton of polymer like i don't even need all that he got from me but he said he took his battle quetzal out to grab it when i was forming metal and stuff and it just brought me over the threshold of my level that's exactly what i needed so what are we gonna add we already have plenty of everything except you know i'm thinking guys i'm thinking movement speed again <laughs> even though it's only a couple percent i really love my movement speed and fortitude is overrated okay so we've got all of that we've got our cooking pot now i've got a bunch of mixed reports on stuff and how it's been well there's been some problems <laughs> getting this thing to work and connect right so we're gonna have to mess around with it let's take all of this stuff out here we'll demolish this we'll demolish this because we're not gonna need these anymore um let's see we may as well pull this out too because this is not going to give us anything water tank there we go and let's see can we place the cooker the cooker does snap to the water pipe. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay. It did place backwards. But I mean, who cares? It's a cooker. All right. So the cooker, does it say that it's irrigated? Industrial, yeah, it's irrigated with a thousand water. Well, they were having a ton of problems placing theirs. I just placed mine straight up. Okay. So now that it's irrigated, um, can we do some fun stuff with it? Let's see. Let's take... 
Let's take... I should have some berries already here. So, let's see here. We have... Oh, yeah, I got plenty of berries. Let's go ahead and grab some Tintos. Mm-hmm. And... I think I already have narcotics, too. I should already have narcotics. Let's see. They might be somewhere else. I want to say that I do have some narcotics. I probably put them on my bird. No, nope, I have some narcotics right here. This will work. Perfect. Okay. Let's see how this baby works. So we've got our narcotics. We've got Tinto Berries. All right, and we sure don't need this. Okay, if we turn this on now, how do we turn it on? Can we turn it on? Oh, we need gas. I have some of that too. Don't worry. Hold on. Let me grab it. Don't worry about that. Okay, yeah, all we'll need is one gas at a time, I'm sure, for this thing. Because 15 minutes, it burns for 15 solid minutes without having to worry about it. Okay. Here's the gas. Now we can turn on. Okay. How fast is it going to cook it? And let's see the water levels. Okay, the water levels are acting like it's going down and not replenishing. Yeah, it just takes a little while to update and the water keeps flying to it. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> it looks like our medical brews is set up. Man, that was easier than I thought. Aside from gathering the resources, it really wasn't bad. I'm going to go share my findings with my uh, with my mates here, and uh, <laughs> I'll be right back, you guys. All right, guys. I shared my information. I think everybody's fixed up now, and I've done a little bit of stuff since then. Uh, I actually put one more cooking pot back down because I knew that I knew needed to make some recipes, and I made a couple mind wipe tonics, and I'm going to respec. So let's just go ahead and kill it right now. It took away all my Ingrams. Uh, I think I'm overweight, but that's okay. Uh, let's bring up crafting speed all the way, you guys. And we're going to make focal chili, uh, which is going to do some pretty amazing stuff from what I understand. So if you add every possible point that you can into crafting speed and you put focal chili or you use focal chili, it's supposed to make your score doubled or something like that I don't even think I can move let's see I think I'm gonna have to throw away uh, this wood can I move now yes I sure can all right let's put some ingredients up I'll also gamma up so you guys can see I can barely move God I, can't, I still can't move okay let's gamma right quick because I know you guys can't see one more time drop okay Wow crazy huh okay so I need to make focal chili and let's see the recipe for focal chili is excuse me just a sec very unprofessional uh, it involves cooked meat citronol amber berries azul berries tinto berries medjo berries so basically citronol and one of each type of berries and oh my gosh, I'm slow as molasses. I do have some citronol uh, in the refrigerator that I harvested from earlier. Okay. Citronol. Okay, I'm only going to need about five, I think, to make a focal chili. That should be good. I'm also going to need some cooked meat. And, oh, I already have plenty of cooked meat on me. Uh, and some of each type of berry. Let's see. And I'm pretty sure everybody has everything. Let's see. Timbaland has... Let's see what we got. Timbaland has all the berries I think I'm going to need. Yellow, purple, and... Red is the only other one, which, you know what? I think I used all the Tinto Berries that I had. I'm going to have to go get another little bit of Tinto Berries. <laughs> I'll be right, guys. Right, guys, here we go. Now we got all the stuff that we need. The industrial cooker should cook it up. I think it should. There we go. We've got a focal chili, and it should be able to make a second one, too. 
All right, we've got two focal chilies. Not, I don't know if we're going to need that, but let's go ahead and drop the berries because we're not going to need those anymore, and we'll just put the citronol back in our inventory. Okay, so we have two focal chilies. Let's see what we got here. Crafting speed is 970, right? We'll go ahead and use item. It does not say... It does not say it's increased any, but I'm going to go ahead and use one. Oh, you can't use another one while you're under the influence already. So it doesn't let you double use them. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> At any rate, uh, I do have some cooked meat. Oh, some regular meat over here. I want to try a few things. So the object is going to be to make these recipes very duplicatable. Wait, I did have a bunch of meat right here. I'm going to try a few things here. Uh, let's see, we do have some meat, and also I'm going to want some spoiled meat too. And the reason that I'm going to want spoiled meat is I'm going to actually try to make something that reduces hunger. <laughs> and it gives you negative hung hunger to try on dinos and stuff like that too. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I just want to make a recipe with 20 regular meat. So, with all these skills, so we'll just, we'll put 20 regular meat in here, let's see, uh, will it let me just move one over, okay, 20 regular meat, it's going to be a food, um, I don't guess it matters what it looks like, the hamburgers definitely look the best, we'll go ahead and uh, <laughs> we'll make it look like a hamburger, I suppose, color region, no, we're supposed to, we're going to make that brown as well. Uh, what's this? That's going to be tomatoes. That'll, that'll work right there. We could have made that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Uh, this is going to be, what is this? Is this lettuce? Yes, that is lettuce. And then that's going to be what? Yeah, the, the off-white looks perfect like that. Okay, and we're going to call this um, a sandwich. <laughs> just regular old sound. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to type in local chat. Sandwich. And we'll just keep the recipe. And I don't know if this is going to be it or not. I'm just kind of experimenting right now, okay? So we'll go ahead and make recipe and we'll see what the actual requirements are. Uh, so this is going to give 247 food, 181 health, and 17 stamina. For a stack of 20 meat, guys. That is unbelievable. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, another thing we can do, instead of just, instead of cooked meat like that, we're going to do the rotted meat. So we'll go make recipe, and instead of, we'll just do, let's do 20, 20 rotten meat, okay? And we're going to call this, we're just going to put it like this, and we're going to call it Rot Gut. <laughs> rot Gut. Super nasty. And we're going to make a recipe with this, okay? And now we got to see what that does. So, pretty much, it still gives 103 food, but it takes away a lot of health, and it takes away a lot of stamina. Okay, that is not going to do it. We need something to take food or take food away. So let's grab, do we have some stem berries? We do. We have a stack of stem berries right here. Let's try a stack of stem berries the same way. Make recipe. And we're not going to worry about the actual uh the 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 we'll call it stem berry. <laughs> I'm, I need a, I'll, I'll reformat the names after this. Stemberry surprise. There we go. Surprise. I think I don't even know if I spelled that right. Surprise. Is it surprised like that? I think it's yes. E. <laughs> okay. And we'll do it like this. Hey guys. So I tried a few things and then I finally got frustrated and looked at the wiki and there's no properties of any food or drink that can actually take hunger away so that's kinda out but I did make some cool stuff just to show you I tried with a hundred narco berries for a food and look at this 8204 stamina oh no that's with shrooms okay 
So you could give something to something like that to an animal, I think, and their stamina would just reach in. That would be interesting. I do want to try that. Uh, this was the stem berries. That's 1,026 stamina. So the mushrooms are definitely very, very good for stamina. What I did want to make is I looked at the stats, and it looks like medjo berries would make a very, very good cocktail. Uh, medjo berries by themselves have a, one, a .175 water uh, stat, I guess you could say, which is like a half a point higher than regular uh, berries. Advanced crops give the most, but nobody wants to um, grow advanced crops just to make a drink. So I think medjo berries will be a good way to do that. And I should be able to use like 50 at a time to make something pretty good with this stat. So let's try it. Make recipe. And we'll just do 50 of these, and it's going to be a drink. And we'll go ahead and just color this. It'll be purple. And we're just going to call it Grape Drink for now. And with no description. I just want to try this. Make recipe. Okay. So now that we got that recipe, it gives 144 water. 42 health and 42 stamina for a hundred for 50 medjo berries. I think let's see, and th this thing really doesn't spoil from what I can see. I think a hundred medjo berries would be pretty good too. And man, that is gonna be really, really good. Okay, and be, being that it fills that much hunger up too, so why let's see, health, stamina, it doesn't give food. This is what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to make one more. One more recipe. Hold on. I think Timbaland has it. Yep. Let's make one more with 100 medjos. And I think we're going to call that good. Uh, let's see. So, make recipe. And we're going to actually make a good drink for this. Let's go drink. And we're going to call it something good. Let's see. Um... Z Squad Tonic. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. The Z Squad Tonic. We gotta make this sucker beautiful too. Uh well, let's make it in my colors. Light blue. And the cup is white, or how about oh no, we can make the cup light blue. Like that. That's pretty good. Can we give Hold on. No, we gotta make that white and this that's gonna be it right there I should have called it like five hour inches <laughs> no, that's good Z squad tonic and let's see um, quenches thirst and more there we go okay I don't know why I put this all in caps okay make why why can't we make rest oh we didn't put everything in here bam that's all we need right there make recipe okay so now for my focal chili runs out um yeah that's beautiful guys 288 water 83 health and 83 stamina over time just with medjo berries alone and y'all know how much medjo berries we get all the time that is crazy i really really like that i'm gonna do some other ones with all the other juice with all the other berry types and i'm gonna make uh <laughs> i'm gonna make a few up hi guys i'm respect it's time to get it we're gonna start making sandwiches here we go let's turn it on and here we go oh wow this is what it's all about hold on hold on raw there we go now watch this oh my gosh this is what i'm talking about so each stack of 20 is going to weigh 10 pounds but look at <laughs> i mean 247 food 181 health and 17 stamina and never having to worry about cooking meat again is amazing like <laughs> this is so good okay so the spoil time i can't even tell it's long though due to the fact that we have our crafted speed so high when we made this recipe 
let's go ahead and dump these out and I'll just pick them up so that the spoil timers don't show beautiful man alright now since we got water pumped into here we need to do the same thing for drinks and let's see here we should have some mejos oh yeah now we can't nearly make the amount of mejos due to the I mean the drinks due to the amount of mejos that it takes uh, but we can stock up on these and take a few with us uh, here and there so we'll just put all of these in and we're gonna put the Z squad tonic in there and it's just gonna make our drinks that's pretty darn good man uh, we used all the water <laughs> but look at that man Z squad tonic and sandwiches <laughs> perfect <laughs> perfect 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 man well guys I'm satisfied with the recipes the way they came out I hope y'all are too the only thing we didn't do yet is place the fireplace and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it just right now just because I'm not gonna use it for anything I'm gonna go ahead and place it right here now this is gonna be wow it's tall I wanna place this in a house house but this is <laughs> this is pretty cool let's see does it have any wood in it I'll just light it up oh that's neat that's definitely just for aesthetic man can is there an inventory outside of that I don't think he could put food in it or anything huh no, you can't put food in or anything. You can just burn stuff. But that's pretty cool. Well, anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video with the new content stuff and the experiment with Focal Chili. Next time we come back, I think we're going to try to set up the Quetzal and do some fun stuff with the, uh, the Medic Shop. I think, I'm not sure, but I think I might call it Medic Air. Like Medicare? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. I don't want to do pedals and all that, man. I like sitting on my feet when I'm driving. Well, not not in, in real life. You know what I'm talking about. In my, in my office chair. I wonder if you could put an office chair in your car. That would be kind of cool, huh?